So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. It appears to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. And that gets things running. Boateng. Real chance! Fires from distance. And he's there to make a great save. Well, to be honest, he shouldn't have spilled out in the first place, but he recovered it really quickly, so no harm done. Hughes, and it's played forward. Carries far too far, and out of play. Gets into a dangerous position. Defending, but that'll do. Goes for it. Seems now to be all about wits. Well, when you have the person, oh, real danger here. Has a hit, and the ball's come out. Knocks it away. Routledge. Forward it goes. Just brushed off the ball there. This could fall anywhere. Oh, it's been flattened there. Hughes. Reisiger. Boateng. Oh, some tackle that. It's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Hughes. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Well, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. How would you review the first half? Yeah, it's a half that's had a, a limp finish after a decent start, so the manager has to re-energise and re-enthuse his players to come back out pumped. 
So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil nil. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Middlesbrough playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Downing tries to dink it. He's gone for it! It's broken loose. Turns and goes. Has a goal! Whistle's gone, and the referee has given a penalty. So a big, big chance now from 12 yards. To open the scoring. Just never going to miss. Oh, you can always see he was confident about that. He always looked like he was going to score. <laughs> Middlesbrough make the deadlock. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half time, it's worth the treat. This is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Spot on, Peter. This is gone, that's a foul. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. to get it forward quickly little accusatory stare there tells the whole story uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution a heavy challenge oh, that's a foul free kick's been given he came in hard very hard Crystal Palace are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. He's looked long this time. Gets it in. Shot a goal! Oh, and that should have been two. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then. That's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. Hoists it forward. Attempts to play it through. And he's there to cut it out. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. It's always going to be the keepers. his whistle what a game end to end it flew by and in the end it all came down to just the odd goal your reflections then jim what i most admire about